Hey everybody, it's Friday. Here we are again. And I haven't seen you in two weeks, so long time no see. I hope you guys have had a great couple of weeks. Hopefully you're starting to see spring weather where you are. I know last time we went live, I was talking about spring weather here and I was in the minority. Down in South Texas, spring starts in late February. <laughs> so, you know, we've had it for a while here. Hello, good, I see you guys jumping on. I'm excited about today's projects because I designed these projects months ago and then the darn thing went unorderable for a while. So we had to wait, but now it's back in stock, which makes me very excited. And I know some of you have been waiting for the Queen Bee bundle. This is another uh, million dollar Stamp Achievers set uh, Laura Milligan, right? Yeah, Laura Milligan. And I love it. It's totally different than mine, but I love it. That just goes to show there's lots of styles, lots of, you know, stamping styles, trends, everything's different, but you can love two totally different things at the same time. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, I see you guys jumping on. While, as a, while I was away, I got quite a bit of fun things in the mail. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, I'm just going to go through real quick and show you uh, this card. It was this from Kathy. Let me make sure I remember who it's from. Yes, Kathy. Kathy sent me this adorable slide and lock card. Remember when we did this one the, the, a couple weeks ago? And she said she loved it. She had to stop what she was doing to make a slide and lock card. So thanks, Kathy. That's cute. I have these little geese on my list. Aren't they geese? A goose? That is on my list, but I keep passing that stamp set over. I need to pull it out and play with it on my Facebook Friday list. That's the list I'm talking about. Um, okay, this one. Oh my gosh, this one is so cute from Sally. Sally sent me this, and look. You guys see how it moves? Like, I'm speechless. I have no idea what's in here, how it does, how it, does it. What did she say? Um, I use, I really enjoy your stamp set. Using it for workshop, we used a pinata as a pendulum. So whatever this is, is amazing. I don't know how you did it. Can you guys see? So stinking cute. And I absolutely love the way she colored the pinata. Really good. So thank you, Sally. I have a wall over here of all the Taco Fiesta cards everybody's sending me. So I'm gonna put that over there with that one. Um, this is a thank you card, I think, from Joan. Let me see if I'm right. Yes, a beautiful monochromatic card. This is another new product. Well, I guess we can't call the spring catalog new anymore, um, but it's around the bend dies. And I'm very intimidated by them. I don't know why. Look how simple she used it. It's beautiful. I need to use them. Very beautiful. Thank you so much. Joan, I really appreciate it. All right, this is from Chris. You guys know Chris sends me lots of cards and I, I love every single one of them. She even sent me a typed supply list this time, which makes me happy too. Chris, you spoil me. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Look what she did with the gnome. She made it a St. Patty's gnome. Isn't it cute? And the beard is sparkly. So many things about this card I love. So cute. Why didn't I think about making a little leprechaun? Okay, and then this one she made. Did I show you guys? Why do I feel like maybe I've shown you this? Maybe I've shown you this. Have I shown you this? I don't know. Suddenly I feel like I've showed you this. Anyway, she made a burrito. Maybe not. And a nacho. <laughs> that is so funny. You know, we used to have triangle dies. They were stitched triangles. Man, I wish we still had those. Then we could totally make nachos out of those. Very cute. And then this, long time no taco. I mean, come on, Chris, so cute. Uh, this reminds me of something I loved to do, shockingly, paper art when I was teaching. And we would do things like this, and then they would write their little story inside. This I totally would have used at school. So cute. And the little mustache. We had a mustache dye many years ago. Do you guys remember that? It was very cute. It was like by itself, a single dye, if I remember. Hmm. I think. It was very cute. Um, this card. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, this is from Chris still. I'm like, I don't know who it's from. She leaves them blank so that I can use them. 
that's that around the bend die too. And the Regency Park, Petal Park flowers. I just used that stamp set for next month's all-star tutorial. Very, very pretty. You guys choose beautiful colors. Thank you, Chris. I love it when I get a package from you. Okay, this one. Oh, you guys are going to love this too. This is this is so funny. Um, Tina told me she was sending me a package. And so when I got it, I couldn't wait to open it. And then she had all these little things like open me last, open me first, second. And so I'll have to show you. I hope, Tina, I hope you don't mind me um, sharing. But anyway, she made this little card look. And this is like, okay, what is happening? I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to investigate this. We need to make this. So for sure, we're going to, we're going to, um, <laughs> make this my, like my mind. I'm not sure I'm smart enough to make this box. It's pretty brilliant. Um, but inside are those gummies from Amazon. Um, these are so fun. I have actually used these two Tina and, uh, they're perfect those little gummies. Okay. So she said she was so excited. She was going to make a shaker card, um, with my taco fiesta projects. And so she, <laughs> so she ordered some, um, confetti, fiesta confetti from Amazon. And when it came, it was gigantic. Look at these giant pieces of confetti. And so she was like, what? Anyway, it was just funny. So that was, she had to First she explained it, then she showed it to me. And then, and then she sent me a cute little shaker card with a little pig. The little pig is so cute. So fun, you guys. You all are so funny. Y'all send me the funniest things. Thank you, Tina. That made my day. I literally giggled when I read your notes. So funny. Um, you know, you never know what you're going to get when you order from Amazon. It could be amazing or it could be like, what the heck is this? You just never know. Um, Catherine, I, I'm going to try to figure it out. We'll see. I don't know. That's, that's pretty like, <sighs> okay, this one. Oh my gosh. This one, this is from Christy. First look at her adorable card. She used this banner. I believe this banner is from the <sighs> Yeti, the Yeti. Remember the Yeti? Perfect. Look at the masking amazing perfect coloring christy so cute and she put the little nachos across the bottom you guys very cute but look what she sent me it says it's tuesday somewhere isn't it cute <laughs> yeah there's a lot of taco things out there there are a lot of taco i'm i'm really noticing and right now here in san antonio we're getting ready to have um fiesta um which is like, I don't even know how to explain it other than it's like a two-week nonstop party in San Antonio. There's all these events. And so now in the local stores, there's all this like Fiesta Taco stuff. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of it too. But anyway, thank you, Christy. I love it. So thoughtful. You guys are so sweet. And, and you guys pay to ship this stuff to me. I mean, shipping's not cheap. So thank you. Very sweet. All right. Let's move on. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I have some things to show you that you haven't seen before. So you guys just hold on. You just hold your horses here for just a second. Let me see if I can get this set up. I, you know, some days the creativity fountain is just sputters, right? You can, you can get one or two projects made and you know, okay. But, but every now and then that creative fountain overflows and that's what happened to me this week. And I designed two classes in like record time and, and I'm going to show them to you guys. One of them is maybe one of my all time favorite classes. So just hold on. We're going to get there. Um, first I want to tell you that I have extras of this. If you are one of those people <laughs> who this happens every month to somebody I know their card gets compromised and they forget to change their card somewhere, Right. The, a bill, like your cable bill, or I don't know, whatever. Paper pumpkin doesn't charge, and then you miss out. If that's you, email me. I've got extras. Um, but this month's is really cute. I love the colors. You, get, of course, get the stamp set and the polished pink spot, but you get this. This is the 10-year anniversary little bonus gift that they um, give you, and it's a stamp set with a little pot you know you always need a pot stamp set I mean a stamp 
or I feel like I always need just a little pot to put things in. There's always little things like you could, um, you know, stack apples or whatever. I just feel like I always need that. So that's a really good size. Um, but it's Easter. <laughs> Typically, it's supposed to be Easter. It's got Easter lilies. It's got a big happy. So that comes in every single one of the boxes. Um, and the cards are beautiful. They're very easy this month. Not a lot of stamping, um, but very cute. Big wow factor. Look, I put my pots too high. They were supposed to be sitting there, and I didn't realize it until it was too late. All of them are just kind of floating in the window. This one, I kind of was like, oh, wait, and went down lower. Anyway, Paper Pumpkin, if you're looking for an extra, message me. All right. Next month's Paper Pumpkin is going to have a box organizer in it, which I'm really intrigued by. A little organizer to make, it makes your box so you can organize all your things. Anyway, um, Club Create for April um, is still open. Subscription. We're doing The Greatest Journey. There will be five cards um, lots of product. It's $39. And if you stick around for five months or no, if you stick around for six months, you get a $25 product bonus. If you're in interested in club create, you can click the tab at the top of my blog, or there's a link on today's PDF. If you've never been to my blog, it's pinkbuckaroo.com. And you can find all kinds of information over there if I do the links correctly. <laughs> Did today's post go up? Has anybody checked? Please check and let me know. Okay, so Legendary Ride Class to Go deadline is quickly approaching. I am in love with this set. I realized I never uploaded that video, so I uploaded it today. If you guys wanna see the details about it, um, six pretty over-the-top cards, a package of studs, half a pack of this six by 12 paper and I'm going to keep it six by 12. I think in the kits, I've ordered some envelopes that will hold that. Um, you can get it with the legendary ride without the legendary ride bundle. You will need it or use whatever you have, but you'll need, I mean, you probably, you need the, you have to have the flame dies. Come on. You, and the little piecing the motorcycle together. Really cute. I told you guys, we're not a motorcycle family. Nobody, in my family, in my husband's family, nobody rides motorcycles. I still love this set. So you don't have to be a motorcycle dude or dudette. And also, look, here's a card in pink. Um, you can make these chick cards too. They don't have to be dude cards. All right, you can just change it to pink. I mean, all I have is orange, gray, and black. So just change out the orange and you've got chick motorcycle. <laughs> cards. Um, deadline is March 28th and they will ship April 5th. Remember my friend Ange is offering this to Canadians as well. If you are in Canada and you want that kit, she's offering it. Um, I, all the details are over there on my blog. Um, there's with the bundle, without the bundle, PDF only, team version, all that. So you can go over there. Here's a link right here on the PDF. So is the PDF up you guys? Um, <laughs> Katie, well, good. I'm glad you like them. Um, thank you for sharing Terry. I, I believe. Yeah. Oh, and Jessica and Joyce. Thank you guys for sharing. I do appreciate it. You know, when I go back to pick winners for shared, I have a hard time finding the shared. I think Facebook like pushes them all down to the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to show you, these are sneak peeks. Okay. Um, for April. I'm going to have two classes for April. This is a class that is going to be very limited. Um, I collected some of these. Do you recognize these were level two celebration stamp sets? And I collected some. And I don't have a lot. Um, I got a lot of the carrot ones instead of this. But I have enough to do a class. So it's eight cards. And they are gorgeous. They use the um, Abigail Rose designer series paper. They're soft and pretty. Um, it is a product heavy class. You're gonna get two packages of embellishments, bolts of ribbon and linen thread and the stamp set. I usually, when I do a class like this, I don't offer it any other way, just the stamp set, but I think I'm gonna cut a handful of, of kits for those of you that want it, if you already have the stamp set. 
Okay. But literally very limited. I will list this on my blog next week. And once it sells out, it sells out because I'm going to cut those kits pretty quickly um, and check that off my list for April. Okay. So be looking for that. Details haven't come out. I haven't typed it up yet, but that'll be coming out next week. Okay. You know what, Yvonne, I didn't think that I would love this stamp set, but I ended up really loving it. It's really, really pretty. And really versatile. There's lots of things that you can do with it. Um, I, I, I agree. I, I overlooked it during celebration, and I shouldn't have because it is gorgeous. Okay, I've already run out of room. Where am I going to put this? Put that there. Okay. Okay. Now, you guys, I don't know if Anne Marie's on here, but I texted her earlier. I got. I'm so excited about my big class to go for April. And maybe I'm overreacting, but sometimes <laughs> you just create projects that you like love. And I got an idea for class for April, and it literally took me less than 24 hours to design it, type it, and get it completely ready. All right? Simply, a oh no, Sweet Citrus. Another stamp set that starts with sweet. How many stamp sets have we had that starts with sweet? I had just kind of been like, mm, with that set. But then I was thinking, what if we had a treat for a lemon, a lime, a grapefruit, um, an orange, and a coconut, and then a card for a lemon, a lime, a grapefruit, an orange, and a coconut. So that's what I came up with. This class is a mega class. I've never designed a class this big. It has 10 projects in it. That's a lot. Um, so like two lemon projects, two coconut projects, two lime projects, two orange projects, two grapefruit projects. Um, it will come, like like all of mine, with the kit, without, I mean, with the bundle, without the bundle. You'll get twine, you'll get dots, you'll get 10 projects and a PDF. And it's bright and it's cheery and it's summery. And you'll have, so like you could give the card with the treat or you could just give the treat or just give the card I mean you know either way I found I was I'm not kidding I had this idea I can't remember where but it was like some like I was doing something else and I literally needed to run to Target immediately to find all the things that I wanted to do so we have I'm not and I'm not going to tell you what the treats are it's surprise but there's a lemon treat, a coconut treat. That was a little hard. Lime, lime was hard too. Orange and even grapefruit. All right, so this adorable class is coming next week. And I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I mean, this, this is one of those bundles that embosses and cuts. You know, we've had, what now, three of these? The, the tree rings. What was the other one? We had another one. And I can't remember, but where the, the die will lay down in the embossing folder, you can do one or, or you can do them together. But I chose bright, fun, summery colors and 10 projects. I've never done 10 projects before in a class. So I'm really, really, really excited about it. And I hope that you guys will be too, because I'm... I'm very proud of it. So that'll be for April. I will open registration for that probably on Tuesday or Wednesday next week. And that one doesn't have a limit. Um, I will cut those at the end of the month as many as ever, however many register. Okay, you guys, are you ready? Um, of course, yes, Laurie, the PDF is already typed. And um, it, it, um, I'm distracted by comments. I'm sorry. Okay. It, the PDF is already typed. I sent it to my proofreader and she's working on it and it will be in my PDF store next week and it will have all 10 projects on it. All right. Prizes from two weeks ago, layered stripes, Darla, Bouchel, 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 Darla, I probably butchered that. You know who you are. And Tammy Sands, Science Sands, it seems right. Sands. That's how I always say it in my head, Tammy. Um, I do believe I have, I, well, Tammy, I know I have yours. Darla, I think I have yours too. You guys have to forgive me. I forget whose name, uh, whose addresses I have and whose I don't. So Darla, message me if you see this before I mail it to you. <laughs> Sometimes I have old addresses too, which I worry about. 
Um, I, man, it stinks. I've done that quite a bit lately. Um, mail things to old addresses. I'm looking for tape. Hold on. Where is my, where is my, oh, it's right here. Uh, you know what? I don't want to use that tape because I'm almost out. Let me get my other tape. Um, I use two different things to mail, um, to do shipping. And the one I use the most is uh, stamps.com and it keeps the addresses in there. And if you add a new address, sometimes it keeps that old address in there and it'll randomly spit it out. <sighs> it's very annoying, but that happens. That happens. And that's why I, oh, that's why I cut extra kits. By the way, if you put in an order the last three days to earn free class kits, they've all gone in the mail. I have about two boxes left of class kits. If you order this weekend and you would rather do the free class kit offer that I have offered this last week, email me, okay? And I don't have enough for like 20 people, but if a few of you missed that offer, then message me and we'll work something out. Otherwise, I'll send you these projects, um, which is fun too. Okay, here's Facebook Friday. By the way, here's the price. If you would like to win this awesome bundle, Playing in the Rain, all you have to do is share the video here on Facebook or YouTube, and I'll pick a winner next week. Next week, we're going to do the rhino, the cute little rhinoceros. Fingers crossed that it doesn't go unorderable between now and then, because that would be upsetting. I would have to scramble. Um. Okay. Again, I keep asking you guys about the PDF, and then I don't look at your comments. Um, Yvonne, I did not come up with that coconut idea. Some Somebody who presented it at on stage, one of the artisans, she turned it into coconut. So I can't, I can't claim the coconut idea as my own. The card design is my own, but not the coconut itself. Um, let's see. Nobody's telling me that my PDF isn't up or the blog post isn't up. Did I change the picture on the blog post? That's always the thing I forget. Okay. All right, so Facebook Friday, what I always do is I pick a product. This week it is the Queen Bee Bundle and I design three projects and we make them. And then if you like them, I will send them to you as a make and take kit. You know, that term make and take, it really isn't a right for this. Make and take means you make it and then you take it home, right? Or, I mean, I'm mailing these. So what should we name these? It shouldn't be make and takes. They should be mail and make. Mail and makes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to keep calling them make and takes. I will send you a make and take kit of today's projects for free with an online order between now and Monday at midnight, um, as long as your order is over $35 and you use this host code. Um, they look like this. I will send you pretty much everything that you need, um, except for the stamping and anything cut with these dies. Everything else will be in there, but you'll need this bundle to make these. I never send stamped images. That's a big no-no. I do send you a little thank you tag. Um, but you will need the stamps, ink, adhesive, and these dies. All right. I talked for a really long time today, but our products are pretty quick, so I think we'll be all right. Let me get a drink real quick, and then we'll get started. All right. So I designed these projects, and not exactly these projects. Oh, Darla, there you are. Good. Okay, I will... Thank you, Patience. I, Darla, I will get that out to you on Monday. Thanks so much. Pa Patience says the PDF is up. Woohoo, I did it right. All right, so I designed some Queen Bee projects months and months and months ago. And then life happened. I, was, I waited till it was more springy and then it went unorderable. So today, finally, we're here. It is back in stock and it is so, so, so cute. Um... I was going to say something and now I forgot. There are limited words in this set. Um, so I'm bringing in something fancy. This is a fabulous set. So we'll use that as well. Um, <laughs> you're going to see me attempt 
to stamp these straight. It usually takes me about four times. Um, we'll do that on the, on the next project, but really cute. Again, um, this is Laura Milligan's Million Dollar Stamp Set. Very cute, vintage-y. Um, I actually have a card that she made with it that I'll show you at the end. Got it in a swap. I think it's hers. I looked today and the little paper is gone, but in my mind, if I remember correctly, it's hers. Okay, let's get started. So funny thing about this stamp set is I feel like this little um, B right here is really the star of this stamp set. But on my projects, I only use it once. But that is good too because it shows you other things you can do. I mean, sometimes I feel like we focus on the biggest, most obvious stamp, but the other things in here are really good. The little crown, I didn't use that and I wish I had, but I just didn't. I don't know why. All right, let's stamp our B. I've stamped this B numerous times and um, mail and create. That's a good one. Yeah. You mail it, we create it. Oh yeah. 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 You guys got good suggestions. I will just call a make and takes out of habit, but it really isn't a make and take because you don't come here and make it. <laughs> I cut it and send it to you and then you make it. All right, so I've stamped this B numerous times in numerous colors and they it looks good in every color. I, I, don't, I don't have a favorite. I don't know. I'm sure you guys have seen it online multiple times too. Um, one thing that I do struggle with, with this stamp set, is getting the die lined up perfectly. And one of the things that you really have to do with this is make sure that the legs line up in those holes. And when you stamp it in a light color, you really can't see them through the holes. So you have to just really kind of eyeball it, make sure it's straight, and then very carefully, don't move it, and we'll see. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I can get it through there straight. I feel like it's just a little bit too, like we need to be able to see more in there. Let's see. Okay, well, not perfect, but good enough. Sometimes that's all you need. Good enough. Good enough is just fine. All right, I have um, cut out vellum wings, which seems to be, in my mind, the obvious. Hi, Emery. I have to drop the bees off. You, <laughs> you don't have to drop them off, Anne Marie. I'll get them from you when I see you next. I'm in no rush. No rush at all for that. All right, vellum right there. And I should have used a glue dot, but I did not. Let's get them straight. And then we'll, there's a little heart right here. And then I can't believe it, but I didn't lose this tiny heart. Can you guys see this? It's a very small die right here. And it's an even smaller heart. And I cut them out ahead of time. And I thought, there's no way that I'm not going to lose that. And I didn't. All right, so there we go, we've got that. Now I chose this paper, um, Hues of Happiness. It's from the annual catalog. I chose it a few weeks ago. I revamped these projects with different colors. I'll show you the originals in a little while. But I wanted to use this paper. And as soon as I did, it went on low inventory. <sighs> so I thought, great. This was before I went on my trip. And I thought, well, that's great because now what? Well, it's still available. So if you want this Hues of Happiness paper, and we're going to use it on the next card too, you need to get it before it sells out. I've cut a little strip here. This is Melon Mambo. And we're going to stamp. You know what? I need some gray paper. We're going to stamp. My drawer is so full it won't open. Do you guys have that problem anywhere? It's very full of junk. Hold on, where's my little grid paper? Well, I guess we'll use big grid paper. I really like to use the, um, the Stamparatus grid paper. If you guys haven't used that, it's so good because it's just a little, little thing and it's not as big as this. Anyway, 
<laughs> okay. Um, you don't just have to use it for the stamp apparatus is what I'm saying. You can use it for just little stamping in your area. All right, so put your paper there so you know where you want to stamp it. I want to stamp it about right there, and I'm going to move that out of the way, and I'm going to stamp off, and then I'm going to stamp it because I want it coming out from behind my DSP. See that? So it's coming from behind. Um, Melon Mambo ink, and I stamped off because I didn't want it to be so bold. But then I'm going to take my Melon Mambo Stampin' Blend Dark, and just do a little bit of splatter. Okay, now, did I lose the paper? Where did it go? Am I looking at it? Right here. And then we're gonna put this on here, like this. I mean, Melon Mambo, Probably Blushing Bride and probably Daffodil Delight Crush Curry. Beautiful color combo. Very, very pretty. All right, so now we're just going to get our dimensionals. Why is all my adhesive at the back of the table? This is just a four by five and a fourth inch piece of Melon Mambo. And I'm going to put it, and I'm throwing dimensional backings. Look, let's be nice and neat about it. Put that there. I just flick them everywhere. Okay, put that on there. Now get your little bumblebee. Ah, no, not yet. We gotta, we gotta adhere this. So this little, what do you call, what do you guys call this? A branch? I don't know, just a thing, a decorative, <laughs> decorative branch. And we're going to put this on with glue dots, or if I had thought about it ahead of time, adhesive sheets would have been great. But you gotta put adhesive sheets on before you stamp, I mean you cut. Okay, and now we'll put our B, and you can put one of your dimensionals right on top of that just to hold it extra secure. And we'll put our B right there. Now, I like to put sentiments on the front of my cards, but I just couldn't get it to work here. So we're gonna put the sentiment on the inside, which is perfectly acceptable too. These are the adhesive back sequins. We used these two weeks ago for our little leprechaun gold nuggets into the rainbow nuggets. And we'll just put a few on there. I love these, the gold, my favorite. And then on the end side, Let's stamp this first. We're gonna stamp the sentiment and let's practice to see, do I need to do it? Yep, I gotta twist, twist it just a bit like that. And then the little B, which I think is on my other tray. Where did he go? He's right here. We'll stamp the little B in Daffodil Delight. Right there. Easy peasy. This is a, I thought it was a birthday card, and then I realized, <laughs> no, it's not a birthday card. It's a wedding card, right, or engagement card. Here's two beautiful beginnings and happily ever afters. So if you don't need a wedding card, just change the sentiment. It could be birthday, thank you, anything, really. Bright and cheery. No bow, no ribbon this week on that card. And there you go. That's it. Cindy, you're trying to be good. No, this is one you need for sure. A bow, Judy. Yes, that would that would be like a a bow. Yeah, it sounds weird. A spray, Jean. Yes, a spray, a swag. Oh, Gail. Yes, swag. I like swag. All right. Patty says you can fold your large grid paper in half and tear it into two sheets. Well, you could, but it's definitely not as cute as the little grid paper. <laughs> The little grid paper is very cute. But yes, you totally can cut your big paper down. All right, now let's see. What are we going to do? We need to keep some of this here for, what do I need to keep? This and this. All right, so there you go. First card, really simple, easy, totally doable. I washed my chamois in the washing machine yesterday. Have you guys done that? You can just throw them in 
I throw them in typically by themselves or with dark towels. Don't throw them in with your clothes because I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what would happen. Um, but if you throw it in to the washing machine, it'll get it nice and clean. It doesn't remove the stains, but it does make it so that your stamps will get clean again. You guys, your chamois ever gets so muddy that you try to clean your stamps and <laughs> your hand is all inked up from your chamois and your stamp isn't clean. Yeah, that happens to me. Okay, the next card is Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather, a combination that I love. Um, I, again, am using that Happiness Abounds designer series paper. Here's a bigger piece that you can see. It's the one with the flowers. Um, if you get this pack of paper, there's a bundle called, um, I am totally drawing a blank. Did I not put it on here? I surely I did. Well, I can't, the bundle is called blossoming with happiness. No, that maybe, I don't know. The dies are called blossoming happiness dies. Anyways, if you look on the, in the catalog for that paper, it's all there together. These dies will cut out the flowers from the paper. So that's what I've done here. Just cut out flowers straight from the DSP. You know, Stampin' Up! is really good about that, coming up with dies that not only will cut out your stamped image, but it'll cut out um, images from the designer series paper. Reducing the need for fussy cutting. Because <laughs> I know there are some of you that just love fussy cutting. Okay, I'm looking for my radiating stitches dies. Where did I, did I put them back? Okay, hold on. I used them yesterday, so I probably put them back. Yep, here they are. All right, so this card uses also these new dies. These are online exclusives. Happiness abounds, Jean. Yes, that's exactly what it talks, that's exactly what it's called. And Amory says my chamois needs an intervention or maybe, yeah. You know, at some point you just throw that chamois away and when you get a new one, it is like, the angels sing. I don't know. <laughs> and then you ruin it. I don't know. A new chamois is something special, just like clear plates. Um, this is one of those online exclusives, radiating stitches, dies. And I had to type that word radiating multiple times and multiple times I could not spell it correctly. Just letting you guys know. It's a hard word to spell um, for me. Most words are hard for me <laughs> to spell. I'm a horrible speller. Um, but these are online. They are available the last time I checked, um, and they're really cool. So they have these stitch lines. So when you cut your shapes, you can see it has these little just radiating stitches, just like the name. So I've cut a big one and the second largest from Highland Heather. All right, so if you haven't gotten these dies, they're cool. The heart I really like too, and there's circles. So anyway, that's those, which, Online exclusive, not in a catalog anywhere. All right, let's start loading up our card. This card doesn't have a lot of stamping. Um, well, it does have that sentiment, which is gonna take me multiple tries because I, I mounted them crooked, which makes it much more difficult, even with a Stamparatus. But I'm not gonna use the Stamparatus today because you know what? My Stamparatus has stuff on it right now and I don't wanna take it off. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. Yesterday when I was recording, all of these projects have a individual recording on YouTube. It took me four tries to get it straight. So we'll see today how many tries. Um, it ha The stamp set has this little grungy um, stamp kind of, I mean, I don't know how you, what you call this other than grunge. And I'm stamping it multiple times in Highland Heather, but I'm going to stamp off each time so that it's not real, real dark, okay? Like that. And then, I need that for the next project. Let me set that there. Then there's another little, like a splatter, and that one I am gonna stamp full strength. Honestly, there's not a big difference in the colors, which is kind of surprising, but whatever. Little variation. And then I'm gonna take my mini blending brush, which if you haven't ordered, they're actually called small blending brushes. I think they should be called many. Again, no one asked me what my opinion on the name was. Every every week, <laughs> I give you guys my opinion, 
and nobody cares. Stamina Up does not care what my opinion is on naming of things. But anyway, if I was to name them, they would be many and not small. Um, they're very cute, and I think they're easier for my hand to, to hold. I don't know. They're just, I don't know. I like them better than the big ones. All right, so there we go. We've got that kind of distressed. And now let's see. Let's test my stamping abilities. You ready? All right, we're going to use Knight of Navy. And the first thing we're going to stamp is that little B. That's really easy. We can just get that guy out of the way. Now we're going to stamp Happy Birthday. If you have a Stamparatus, just use it. I, I'm being stubborn. And I like to stamp on my grid paper to just see how straight it is so that then I can kind of get an idea. Okay, we're gonna stamp that. That's kind of crooked. And now let's see. The problem I have is getting them close, close enough. Nope. All right, <laughs> let's try birthday first and then happy. And if I get down close to it, that one's better. Okay, one more, one more, or maybe two more. Let's, oh, did you guys see that? The edge has ink on it. That will not do. Let's clean it. All right, let's see. These should be clear. All right. Okay, there we go. That one's pretty good. <laughs> good enough. Not perfect, but good enough. So it took me, well, yeah, four tries. Four tries again. Four tries. Fourth place isn't so bad, right? Okay, now let's cut them out. This die set, <laughs> Elaine, yeah, the other same problem. I refuse to use my stamp rattles on this. I don't know why. In my mind, I'm like, oh, you got this, no problem. And every time, it just seems like too much trouble for these words to get out the Stamparatus, which is dumb, which is a dumb excuse. I don't know. Okay, I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. That was embarrassing. Now we're gonna put this here. This die set has this great label, really good little stitched label. All right, now make sure your little B doesn't, the die doesn't move. Okay. And we're gonna run it through. <laughs> Cindy, I did, I did hear you. Yes, thank you. You gave me a boost of confidence there for the clapping. <laughs> what would happen if I had stamped it like 10 times and they were all crooked? I, I don't know, I didn't consider that. Oh, you know what, we need to do these too. I did not think about that. I, I just had enough confidence in myself that a quarter sheet of basic white would be enough. And it was. All right, so this is a really cool die, a little honeycomb, and I'm gonna cut it out of gold foil. And the little doodads that come out are really awesome, and you can use those, which we're gonna use, instead of the gold sequins this time. They are much smaller, but I mean, you might as well use them. They're coming out for free, right? <laughs> Free gold sparkles every time you cut a honeycomb for free. Okay, you need three of those from gold foil. Did you guys know that we have a package of gold foil that's $5? And I'm not talking about the brushed metallic gold. We have a pack of gold. I did not know this. We have a pack of gold. How did I miss that all this time? I just realized it. Sometimes it takes me a while. <laughs> I don't know. Is that in the annual catalog? Gold? $5 pack of gold foil? But so is the brush metallic. Isn't it? I don't know. All right. Let's put this Highland Heather Radiating Stitches Rectangle on our gorgeous grape card base. And we'll put this designer series paper right there. The measurements will be on that PDF today. All 
It's even harder when you wear glasses to see where to line it up. Is it? Oh, shouldn't the glasses make it easier? I don't know. Those, for some, I think, well, I know. My problem is, is that my sticker is on there crooked, which just throws the whole thing off. You would think I could mount st stickers correctly after 14 years, but apparently I cannot. All right, I've already cut out a flower from our Happiness Abounds designer series paper. No, Hughes of <laughs> That's the name of the bundle. Hughes of Happiness DSP. All right, and then again, they didn't ask me the names. Hues of happiness. That's that's a lot. That's a lot to remember. All right, and then we'll get our little tiny B and a many dimensional. And we'll put that little B right there. And then we're gonna take these guys. And you know what I'm gonna do this time? I'm gonna take a glue dot at the bottom and then I'm just gonna tuck them behind. You're not gonna see that glue dot and I don't run the risk of smearing glue all over my card. Look at that. I only thought of that the third time I made this card. And we'll tuck that one down here like that. Now, these little guys, they are gonna need glue. They are smaller than a glue dot. So just a tiny, oh, listen to me, glue. Blowing bubbles is not an option today. We need you to be very tiny. All right, get your take your pick tool. Very important with these, very important. Stick these on. Hey, you guys, did you notice my nails? I soaked my nails off because I'm sick of them. I'm sick of the maintenance and I did my own nails. I don't know if I can keep up with it, but let's see. Little at home gel kit from Amazon. Gel nails. It was really easy. I just am tired. My nails keep crumbling on the tips. And this this last time, after a week, like six of them had crumbled on the ends because I think my nails are so brittle. <sighs> And then, you know, that's irritating and then I have to go back in and whatever. Okay, this ribbon is blue and white and it's hard to, it's not hard to tie, but it's hard to pull the little, the little things like that. I don't know why, because I want it smaller. Well, I think that's about as small as we're going to get it. Well, there we go. It's, it's not easy to pull through, but a little finagling and you can get it. It's very, very lightweight ribbon. Like, it weighs nothing. So it will not bulk your card up or add to the weight of your card at all. And put that there. Now for the inside, let's take just another piece of that Hues of Happiness designer series paper. Put that on there. And why don't we stamp the bumblebee again. You know, yes, I agree. I think my nails, I've had nails, fake nails, I guess you call them, for three years. And I think my nails were like, we're done. No more of this lady. And they were so thin and weak. But then when I did this on it, which I guess is chemicals too, huh? <laughs> They're strong again. Uh, but at least I won't have that grinding. I've told you guys I can't stand when they grind your nails off. Oh, I can't stand it. Okay, there we go. What do you guys think? I like this card a lot. I love the Brights family. Today we've used Melon Mambo and Gorgeous Grape, and it just makes me so happy. I use bright colors. I'm so happy. Okay, one more to go, and it's a 3D project, of course. And it's a hand sanitizer, you guys. I was looking at this set and I was like, okay, <coughs> excuse me. What 
hand sanitizer could we use to go with this set? And um, Anne Marie says I could open nail salon on the side. Okay, I'll be open between 2 and 4 a.m. Okay? Okay, I'll see you then. <laughs> oh, yeah. It took me a really long time to do my own. You know, when you have to do the other hand? Ugh, I hate it. Maybe my husband, you think he would do it? It would look worse than if I did it. All right, so what did I come up with? Lavender, and they have them. I think lavender is a scent they just carry all year. So I linked it there on my blog if you wanna get some of these little hand sanitizers. And the paper, I've switched over to the Regency Park paper for this project. Um, if you guys are new around here, I make a lot of hand sanitizer holders. They were kind of the first thing. Hold on. They were kind of the first big thing that I made that kind of got attention online. So then I started making lots of them. And over the years, I've tweaked and done different designs. But this little design is really easy. And so we're going to use that today. Um, three and three fourths by four and three fourths is what you need. This is Knight of Navy. You're going to score the short side at one and two and three fourths. I have these measure measurements pretty much memorized. Um, and on the long side, one and two. And this will fit any of their little hand sanitizers, even the old style. Remember they came in a different bottle. And then during the pandemic, when everybody was like, we need hand sanitizer. They brought back that old design. I guess maybe they had like somewhere a stockpile of old ones. I have some of those too. Um, okay, so burnish those lines. Along the long side, you're just gonna snip these two lines like that. Ooh, that's very crooked. Let me cut that off. And then like that. And then we're just gonna adhere it. And you know, this is not a heavy, Thing. So I'm just going to use stamp and seal. I think stamp and seal is really strong. And I don't have a problem with it coming apart. So I'm going to use it there. And then, so I just tucked those in to the long sides. Then you want to put adhesive on the outside of those tabs and just wrap it around like it's hugging the back. And that's, that's it. I mean, you could make a hundred of these in no time. Now you're going to cut this at an angle from this bottom point to the back point. Let me get my scissors in the right place. And then the same thing on this side. So you're making just like a teeny tiny little magazine holder with the slanted sides. Now I don't have another um, lavender, but I do have this. This is my favorite hand sanitizer flavor or scent, whichever you call it, eucalyptus and spearmint. It's my favorite. I like to stick a dimensional on the bottom just so that it'll kind of, it won't like fall out before I give it to the person. But I mean, you saw it's very easy to just pop that out too. All right, so it'll stay in there a few times. All right, so there's that. We've got that taken care of. Let's do our little heart. My grid paper is seeing a lot of action today. Let me bring back that grid paper. I hate to see my ugly grid paper on the videos. I don't like that. It's very yucky. Um, Highland Heather, what, did, did I put it back? It's missing somewhere. It's right here. We're gonna use that same grungy stamp and we're just gonna like make some patterned paper here. Stamp off. Just, you know, around. Oops, I didn't stamp off. All right, well, really, we're just gonna use this part down here. Um, we're using the Big Giant Heart Punch. This is a part of a punch pack. It's called a Heart Punch Pack. You know, I'm gonna have to, I don't like what I did there. Let's see, if I move over, we won't really see the left side of the heart. There we go. Um, it comes with a scalloped heart that fits behind it, if you need a heart punch. All right, so we've got that. Now, where is my basic white? We're going to stamp 
the, what I keep calling the branch, but it's not a branch. It is a, like a flower from the ground, like a stem. <laughs> I was calling it a branch and I realized that's not really a branch. It's a flower that, you know, it's a whole flower plant. We're gonna stamp that in memento and you only need part of it. Okay, so see how we're gonna just cut off part of it. So I'm just gonna take my stamp and blends. If my stamp and blend will open, and I've got um, what do I have here? Highland Heather. I can never tell Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia stamp and blends apart. Do you guys have that problem? I finally labeled the end of them. Oh, hello. I could have looked at that. It's because it's hard to read on the sides. It's always upside down or backwards. Um, but I put an H on the end of my Highland Heather. There's um, some other colors like Granny Apple Green. I cannot tell the dark from the light. And every time I go to grab it, I grab what I think is the dark. It's always the light. And if I grab what I think is the light, it's the dark. I am. Yeah, I know. Stamping problems. All right. So I'm just going to kind of outline that branch. I mean, I'm not being real nice and neat about it. Just flicking that color on there like that. And we're going to stamp the sentiment. I needed something real skinny and small. So let's get this ugly grid paper out of here. So I am again using the Fancy That set and we're gonna stamp Happy Birthday in Old Olive right there. And we're just gonna cut that down to like a little strip. All right, bring back, you know what? I've got my little baby sitting right here. Let's see if we can use this guy. I don't use my little baby nearly enough. All right, now get that lined up. It doesn't really matter on the bottom, I guess, because we're not using the bottom. We're gonna need to use some tape here because I can already see that this is gonna wiggle around. I'm using post-it tape in case anybody is wondering. I order it from Amazon. And is fabulous. All right, that is done. And now let's get our stamping trimmer and just we're just gonna cut that as a little skinny strip. And actually, that doesn't even look like it's skinny enough, but whatever, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> I like. I would like for it to be a little bit skinnier, but I don't think I can get it any closer on that trimmer. All right, we are ready to put this together. I've got a piece of, what is this? Uh, Petal Park Designer Series paper. Oh my gosh, what am I doing with my adhesive today? And I'm gonna put that right there. So it's gonna cover up that holder. So if your cutting is messy like mine, no one will know. All right, so we've got that there. Then we've got the heart and the dimensionals, which are always somewhere where they're not supposed to be. And we'll put that down here in the center. All right, and then we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna put him right there. See, we're covering up part of that, that part where, you know, I didn't stamp very well. And then just turn it over and cut that off, even with the paper, okay? Just shortening it up. Then we've got our sentiment, which we will use two many dimensionals. Right here, like that. And then two Fresh Freesia flowers. Fresh Freesia is retiring, you guys. The in color ink pads that are retiring, that is the um, color family 21 to 23. Let's see, I know I can't think of all the colors. Uh, Pale Papaya, Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, and then it's the two greens, right? Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreen. Look, I did. Um, those are all retiring. 
And so the ink pads are on low inventory already. If you need the re-inker, especially for your ink pad, make sure you get it ASAP because I, those are gonna sell out before the retired list comes out. The retired list, you guys, comes out to demonstrators next week on the 29th. But then the prices, the discounted prices for the last chance, the retiring things, will not go into effect until April 4th. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit weird. But what's gonna happen, there are gonna be some things on that retired list that people are gonna freak out over and buy and then it's gonna sell out before they can go down on the discount price. Does that make sense? So just FYI, if there is something that you have to have, get it because crazy things happen when that last chance list comes out. Last chance means this is your last chance. If you want it, you better get it um, because then they retire. All right, so I added a garden green twine bow because we don't have an old olive twine and we don't have a garden green marker so i'm mixing the greens all right it's fine they don't have to be exactly the same and that's it really easy those would make fun little treats for anything a little thank you a little party favor whatever perfect for the spring the hand sanitizers are five for eight dollars i remember when they were five for five dollars inflation <laughs> but still affordable and a pretty reasonably priced um little gift item okay now let's just review and then i'm going to show you some different projects so don't leave yet um this week we this is what we made and these are the um mail and makes is that what we decided to call them <laughs> these are the projects that i will send you if you put in an online order between now and Monday at midnight, it's a good time to get that in color stuff, you guys. I'm not kidding. And we're having a color refresh by next, um, what is it, Wednesday? By next Wednesday, I will know, we'll know what colors are retiring. Not just the end colors, but those core colors. Every five or six years, Stampin' Up! does a color refresh. And so let's just look at this real quick so you guys know. You know, here are our color families. These colors in colors come and go every two years. They change out. But the brights, neutrals, regals, and subtle colors stay in the catalog. Like for sure, right? You know they're going to be in the next catalog. Except for the years that we do a color refresh. So Stampin' Up! goes through and says, okay, nobody is buying, I'm going to pick on Amory's favorite color, Cajun Craze, right? And so then they're like, okay, we're in that color. We're not using that much. We're going to pull that color out and retire it. I'm not saying Cajun craze. I have no idea, guys. I'm just using it as an example. Don't quote me. I have, I have literally no idea. Um, but they also, what they do is look at trends, color trends, out in fashion and uh, different industries. And then they bring in new colors to replace those colors that they've pulled out. So it's fun. Um, for me, I love to get new fresh colors, but it's also sad sometimes because a color you will love will go away forever. And that's sad. So just, you might want to this weekend, take inventory of your colors, your stamp pads, your cardstock, your markers, and see if you have any holes, right? See if, you know, you're missing a reinker or whatever, or your very favorite color is Cajun craze, like Anne-Marie. And, um... Or is it crushed curry that you don't like, Emery? I can't remember. Or is it both? I can't remember. Um, then you want to stock up. You, it may not may not retire, but just in case. It's your very favorite color. You can't live without it. Okay, so that's a color refresh. That'll be coming next week. So this weekend, that may be what you want to order. And if you put in an order and it's over $35, I will send you one kit of each of these for free to make. Um, make sure you use host code this. <laughs> if your order is over $150, don't use the host code. Um, you'll get stamp and rewards. Okay, now let me show you some other cards. We just had a team swap, and this was my swap, and I will have this on the blog on Monday. It also uses the Hues of Happiness designer series paper, 
a little pool party or is that coastal cabana i can't tell i think it's pool party b he's cute as blue um now here's the original card for this and i just i'm not a fan of petal pink i will not be sad to see that color retire um, so I switched it over to a bright, fun color. But if you were more like a subtles person, you might like it in those colors. And that's that Regency Park Designer Series paper. This card was based on this card, which I wasn't totally in love with. So I changed the just the colors itself, made it fun. But I also wanted to use those radiating stitches dies. Okay, and then here's another card, very simple, and it's like mounted crooked, but little Highland Heather Bumblebee. Okay, Regency Park Designer Series paper. This is the card I believe Laura made, the Laura Milligan. Her name is on the stamp set. Isn't that pretty? Very um, simple. She's got that uh, true type, what's it called? Um... Anyway, I can't think of it. That embossing folder. Why can't I think of the name? Anyway, and she just used navy, and it's very pretty. She did use the um, crown, which I should have used. I didn't use it. This is a card from Janice W. She used black and gold. There's that fun gold paper. I can't remember the name of that gold paper, but it's really pretty. It was on unorderable for a while, too. And then these I made in January, put on the blog, little calendars. I gold embossed, heat embossed the bumblebee. Look, my die lined up perfectly here, but not perfectly here. And after I had heat embossed it, I was like, I'm using it. It's fine. Good enough. All right. And then last but not least, here's this one. And I don't know where I got this one. It's a swap card from somebody. I love the vellum wings. Isn't that pretty? Very simple card too, but really cute. Okay, you guys, that's it. I will post Monday this card and then the details on that. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, I will post details on the classes to go that I'm offering in April. Sorry, I just heard something outside. I'm looking at my window. Um, and so don't email me about those classes this weekend. They're not ready. <laughs> Wait until I um, list them next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. You guys have a great weekend. It was good to be back with you. Time Worn Type, thank you. Time Worn Type is the name of that embossing folder. I appreciate it. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back um, next Friday with the Rhino. Rhino Ready, is that what it's called? Rhino, cute little bundle, and we'll make some projects with that guy. Hopefully it doesn't go unorderable <laughs> between now and then. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.